Hello, um, right, this is just a quick video to show, when I say quick video, it's probably going to be a bit long, but here goes. Now, what this is, basic setup, um, you've got a fire alarm call point here, a fire alarm sounder called a Roshni, a 12 volt battery, and a relay. Now, the idea of this is to have um, a kind of um, circuit which will sound the alarm, but then it would need to have a, it would need to have a, separate reset um, because the relay itself is wired to latch so I'll explain exactly um, what you need to do after I've given a quick demonstration which of course would be necessary so all we're going to do we're going to simulate breaking the call point uh, by using the test key so the test key itself is going to um, activate the call point which will then activate the relay and then I will show you what happens when we um, reset the call point. So, first of all, we'll put the test key, try to put the test key into the call point. So, we're going to activate the system as such. So, here goes. Now, glass is loose on the call point and the Roshni is activated. Okay, now what happens when you reset it? If it was just used as a switch without a relay, it would stop the sound from sounding. But now we pull the key out, and the relay is still active, and the sounder is still sounding. So, the only way to reset this now is to disconnect power to the battery. So, so now disconnected the battery, and it's reset. So you could incorporate. Let's put this back on. You could incorporate like a, a reset button that momentarily um, cuts the power to the relay. So let's see how this works. Now this is a very messy job. You don't need to have all the wires going to each device like this. Um, you could have it all local, but this is how I've done it for the time being. So we've got the battery. Power from the battery comes down to the Roshni to the positive side of the Roshni. Okay, now these two, uh, these two positives on here, they're both the same. So one going in will be the same coming out. So let's follow it from here. Power from the battery to the positive of the Roshni, from the positive of the Roshni, okay, to the normally open of the relay, which is here. That's normally open. I've done a quick diagram here to show that it's a bit, bit easier to understand. So this one here is normally open. There is a diagram on the Roshni, I'm sorry, on the relay here, but it's very difficult to sort of see on the video. But you can follow it from this as well. But also on these particular relays, you can actually see inside them and you can see which connection is which. So if you can see in there, you probably can't, you will see there's a gap between, let's get something to point with, there's a gap between the two, two points there. So we're going from the common, which is the center one here, to this one here, which is normally open. Now, normally open means when it's in a normal state, not activated, it means the contact isn't, is, uh, is open. It's not making any contact. So that's the best way probably to see inside these relays. Um, right, so let's carry on. So we're coming from the positive to the normally open of the relay, okay? Now that, is then linked to the switch on the on the um, oh sorry to the um, yeah to the call point which is wired as a switch okay so at the moment this is open and when you put the key in to activate the glass or you break the glass you are uh, closing the switch which then completes the circuit so so yeah so from the switch or from the normally open contact on the relay which is this one you come round to the call point and switch there and then you come round here from the other end of the switch and you go to the common of the relay which is this one here okay so from the common of the relay you then link to the coil which is the very top one of the relay here so this one here is the coil Right, so from that point, if we're following it through the coil, 
we skip over to the other side. So let's say that's the positive of the coil. We nip over to the, or we skip over to the negative side, and we come up, and then we run to the normally, the normally um, open of the other side. Remember, this is a double pole relay. So there's two poles in there. So you've got two relay contacts, basically. So then you skip over from the negative of the coil to the normally open on the other side of the relay, on the, on the other contact. So then from here, we then run to the negative of the battery. Okay, so that's the circuit there. Now on the common, which is this one, you go, which is the center of the relay. I say center, we're ignoring the two bottom pins on the relay. Okay, so we're coming around here and then we're going to the negative of the Roshni. I've got it as a Roshni, it could be any device um, that can work on there. This is all 12 volt, by the way, this whole thing. It's a 12 volt relay, 12 volt Roshni. Actually, no, it's a 9 to 28 volt Roshni, as you can see there. So yeah, so you're basically yeah, running from there to the negative of the Roshni. Okay, and that is basically a um, how a latching relay is set up. Um, I will try and do a diagram for it and get it up onto the video if that is possible. Um, and that's yeah, that's pretty much it. So going back to this again. They are the connections you need on the relay. I kind of mirrored it. It's these two last ones here. You just ignore those. They would be the normally closed connections on the relay, but we're not using any of those. So so we don't need them. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll just demonstrate it one more time. Test key in. You can see the contacts would have switched in there. Obviously the noise of the cord point drowns out the noise of the um, relay clicking. So reset the call point. Relay is still active. Now, if we had a brake switch on this to disconnect the power or on the positive side, that would then um, reset the um, reset the system. And we're reset. Right, hope this has made some sense. Um, yeah, and that's that.